Caught behind the Venetian blinds How to reach for the city lines Today I am on holiday. As you can see, this is not my usual location. And we are gonna go visit a very special place. We're gonna go visit a town called Hay on Wye. This town is very special because it is the world's first book town or bookshop town. So basically in this tiny little quaint town, there's over 20 bookshops. And now I don't think we're gonna be able to visit them all today, but we're gonna go and we're gonna try and visit as many as we can. So that is what today's video is gonna be. It's gonna be come book shopping with me in the world's first <laughs> bookshop town, basically. I'm really excited, it looks so cute, so pretty. Um, and I hope we're gonna find some amazing books. I don't think they're gonna have many new releases. I think it's gonna be more like obscure year older books that we're maybe going to be picking up today but I'm just so excited it's literally been a dream of a place that I've wanted to go to for so long so I thought I would bring you along with me and let's go visit the world's first bookshop town <laughs> And we're here, we're in Hay and Y. Let's go explore some bookshops. Okay, so we're starting off here, which is Richard Booth's bookshop. And this was actually the first bookshop in Hay and Y. So it's housed in a converted chapel. It also has a cafe here and a cinema. And it has all types of books. There's new releases, secondhand books, older books. So I am just so excited to go inside and see what kind of books they have. So let's go. When the sign out front said world's largest secondhand bookshop, it was not kidding. This was an absolute treasure trove of a bookshop that I felt like I could just get lost for hours in. It stretched so far back and was filled with pretty much every single book you can imagine. I loved the vintage wooden bookshelves and decor, the creaky floorboards. It felt so comfortable and homely. They had a really great mix of new releases, but also secondhand books and lots of super old vintage books that I had to very much resist not buying 20 of just for the aesthetic. <laughs> this was where the book town all began and it truly felt like such a wonderful bookshop and I wish I had spent a bit longer in there. It was the first one we visited and I wish that I had, yeah, spent longer in that one. So I absolutely loved it in there. I loved like all the wooden bookshelves and everything in there. I picked up Sleep by C.L. Taylor, which I've heard a lot of good things about. This was only three pound. It's obviously secondhand, but it doesn't look it at all. So I feel like this is such a steal to get in there. Next we're at Addie Man Books, which I've heard so many good things about from so many people. If I'm honest, this is probably one of the bookshops I'm most excited to visit. I've heard that they have a lot of new releases for like really low prices, like half price. So I am scared I'm gonna walk out of here with 10 books, but Let's just see. So this was one of my favorite bookshops we visited. I was honestly shocked at the prices at some of the brand new books in here. I truly don't know how they do it, but it was so hard not to add like 10 more books to my already overflowing TBR. What I loved most about this shop was all the little nooks and tiny sections of the shop. There was a bat cave, a sci-fi room, and each room kind of had its own aesthetic and vibe, and that really made for a, a super unique shopping experience. Every time I thought this shop couldn't surprise me, it did it again. <laughs> uh, and I'm sure if I went back, I would discover even more surprises there. So in Addie Man Books, I got a special edition of The Night Circus, which is one of my favorite books. It was so affordable and look how cool the cover is. Isn't it cool? Yes, it is. <laughs> now, I actually need to collect myself. We're gonna go into Murder and Mayhem. 
which is just literally across from Eddie Man Books. I am scared I'm gonna spend all my money in here. <laughs> As a lot of you all know, murder mystery and thrillers are like my favourite genre, so I am scared that I'm going to spend all my money and buy like 50 books. But if I do, it's okay. <laughs> This was, of course, another one of my favourite bookshops we visited. It was pretty much a murder mystery reader's dream. They had these amazing old vintage editions of Agatha Christie books, but I didn't let myself buy any because I know if I bought one, I'd have to buy them all. I know myself well enough not to let that happen, but if you love crime fiction, detective fiction, horror, this is absolutely somewhere you need to visit. It was so amazing and the shop was incredibly well themed. I felt like I was stepping into a crime writer's brain. <laughs> Okay, so in Murder Mayhem, I managed to restrain myself. <laughs> I only got one book and it's The Devil in the White City. This has been on my TBR for like one of the longest times like out of any book. And I know it's about the Chicago World Fair and a murderer that was like um, at large during that time. It's like non-fiction. So I've heard a lot of good things about it. And again, it was super affordable. Now we're at Green Ink Booksellers, which is one of my favorite like storefronts. It's one of like the newest books I think that have opened up in the area recently. And I think it's like such a stylish storefront. So we're gonna go look at this one next. This was such a lovely bookshop. It had a little bit of a different vibe to some of the others because it is newer, but I really liked that change of pace. Again, this shop just seemed to be never ending, which you don't expect from the outside, but I kept discovering something that surprised me, like some of these gorgeous vintage books. And in there, I picked up this bookshop tour guidebook, which I was so excited when I spotted as it could help me do more videos like this. Okay, so next we're gonna pop into Hay on White Booksellers, which I think has one of my favorite storefronts. I just think it looks super cute and quaint. I loved this bookshop because there were literally books everywhere you looked. Piles on the floor, bookshelves up to the ceiling. It just had this quaint, old worldy charm to it and it was so fun to explore. All of these bookshops are like treasure troves. <laughs> Like, I literally have no idea where to look. I didn't end up buying a book here though because I got a bit overwhelmed with all the choice. Okay, so next is Adiman Annex, which is owned by the same people as Adiman Books and Murder and Mayhem. A lot of people say this is actually one of their favorite bookshops. It has the best selection of books. So I'm hoping I'm gonna find some books that I really want in here. Oh my goodness, what a wonderful bookshop this was. It's so hard to pick a favourite because they're all so wonderful. Uh, this probably had my favourite selection of all the bookstores. They had so many incredible books. They had lots of Penguin Cloth Bound editions for under half price. I actually brought two books in here, this lovely hardback edition of The Essex Serpent, which I've always had my eye on, and Villette by Charlotte Bronte to add to my cloth-bound collection. And then this is the Honesty Bookshop. This is outside, this is kind of near um, Adiman Annex. And these books are just outside and you can just, they trust you, that's why it's called the Honesty Bookshop. 
they trust you to pay a pound for any books that you pick up. So there's a really cool selection of stuff out here and you could literally fill a suitcase up with these books if you wanted to. Wow. Okay, so next is Hay Cinema Bookshop, and I think this is probably the biggest bookshop in Hay. It's converted out of an old cinema, and there's over 200,000 books in here. I can't even wrap my head around how many 200,000 books is, but I'm really excited to go take a look. I can't, I actually don't know what, I, what is awaiting me inside this treasure trove of books. Okay, so I think this bookstore was actually my favorite. <laughs> this one's my favorite, she says about all the bookstores. <laughs> but this bookstore was just enormous and I could have spent hours and hours there. They had like every book you could imagine. Lots of secondhand books and new ones at like super affordable prices. I absolutely loved it and I love the look of the book I discovered there. I loved the selection in there. I thought they had like a lot of different books than what I've seen in the other bookshops. So if you are going, because this one's a little bit more out of the way, so if you've gone around a lot of those bookshops and want to see some different kind of books, I would recommend coming to this one. I was having a look around and I couldn't see anything like straight away that I definitely wanted. But then I stumbled across The Dance of the Serpents by Oscar de Muriel. Muriel? <laughs> Muriel? And I was drawn in by the cover, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, I was drawn in by the cover. But then I read on the back that it is a Victorian mystery, which we all know, that is my niche. That's like my favorite thing. And I did look in it and it is like the sixth in a detective mystery series. But usually with these kind of things, you don't have to read all of them. Like you can just read like any random one in the series. So I'm hoping that will be the case for me. And I'm very intrigued. A mystery thriller, Victorian, my perfect book. Okay, so that was our trip to Heian Wai. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed being there. It was absolutely amazing, like I was in heaven. So I just thought to quickly end the video, we'd run through the books that I got. But first, my family were there and they also got books. And I wanna show you this book that my dad got my mum. Oh my God, is that bird inside? No. I believe it's, is it a Folio Society one? It comes, oh my God. <laughs> comes in the case like this. Look, so this is North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. And like, look how gorgeous this is. Never have I wanted to read North and South more than I do in this moment. It is just absolutely stunning. I hope that one day I am rich <laughs> and I can have an entire library of Folio Society books because just absolutely stunning. I got Sleep for three pound by C.L. Taylor. This is a closed circle isolated mystery, my favorite thing. Then I got a special edition of The Night Circus, which is one of my favorite books. So this isn't one I'll be reading, but it's only about four pounds. So I just thought, you can't go wrong. Like you can't, you can't blame a girl for buying <laughs> an edition of her favorite book when she sees it. Sure, Jan. Then I picked up The Devil in the White City. This is a book I have eyed up for so long and I'm really excited to finally own it. Oh, I got Bookshop Tours of Britain. So if this video goes well, I would love to do more like bookshop visits and tours of different areas in the UK. So let me know if that's something you're interested in because this book could kind of be a way of helping me figure that out. Then I bought The Essex Serpent. I really love this edition. Listen, I'm from Essex, so I feel like I should just buy it. <laughs> And I also got Villette by Charlotte Bronte. I only got this <laughs> because they had these editions of the Penguin Cloth Band Classics for $6.95, which usually they're $14.99. So that is a ridiculous price. They mostly only had Jane Austen and for Jane Austen, I'm collecting different editions, <laughs> but I'm collecting the rest in these editions, but they didn't really have much other than Jane Austen. So I got this by Charlotte Bronte. Probably not gonna read it for ages, but I'm glad I have it in my collection. Then I got The Dance of the Serpents, which I know nothing about, but because it's a Victorian mystery with a detective, I was very intrigued. I also got a secret book. I'm just gonna go like that. 
You naughty, naughty. You teasing me, you naughty, naughty. <laughs> That's a video which will probably be coming next month, so stay tuned. It'll be a very funny video. I can't believe I stumbled across that book in the bookshop. And then finally, my dad did get me um, The Lives of Saints by Lee Bardugo. He's been a bit obsessed with uh, Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom lately. He saw this in a bookshop, obviously recognised the name Lee Bardugo, and decided to get it for me. It is kind of like mythology about different... Uh, Grisha verse saints. So I'm excited to read this at some point. And yeah, that was our book haul for Hey On Why. Honestly, it was just like a dream of a place. I absolutely loved it so much. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. If you got into the end of this video, comment a book stack emoji and let me know where your favorite bookshop is. I would love to know what your favorite bookshop is so maybe one day I could visit it. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I'll see you very soon in another one. Bye.